Hi guys, today I'm back with the easy to follow steps for how to grout your porcelain tile. The first step obviously is to pick your grout and the grout color that works best with your tile. Most flooring stores or Home Depot and Lowe's are going to have lots of different color options for you to pick from. I love this Mappy Flex Color Grout from Lowe's. I use it quite a lot. I love that it's pre-mixed. It makes the job easier. Sometimes when you mix up your own grout, it's easy to um, add a little bit too much water, a little bit less water than you need, and it can cause discoloration in the grout or um, not as nice looking grout. So the pre-mixed stuff is always my go-to. It's really not that much more expensive to use the pre-mixed stuff. Just be sure to always follow the directions on the container for your type of grout, your size of grout when you're doing this job. But here, let's get into the steps. Once you pick out your grout, what you're going to need to do. Before you can grout your porcelain tile, you want to make sure that the grout lines are clear and free of any of the thin set that might be left behind. Most of it should have been removed before it ever dried, but sometimes there can be a little bit left around the edges. So I use a rough scrubbing pad to scrub away any little bits of thin set residue that can be left behind. Obviously that's a little bit more important if the thin set color is different than the grout color like it is in my instance. So my thin set is white, my grout is more of a sandy color, so I want to make sure that none of that white thin set is showing. After cleaning up the tile and the grout lines, I then give the floor a really quick sweep with a broom and just make sure that it's pretty clean before I get started with the grouting. Next I set up my work area. So I usually put a bucket of clean water with the sponge I'm going to use to clean the tile on a towel. And I have my bucket of premixed grout and a rubber float ready to go. When you start grouting, you're going to want to start with the section of tile that is the furthest away from the door and work your way backwards or out of the room. You want to only work as far as you can reach from one spot. So maybe that's five foot for the average person. Make sure you fill in all of the grout lines in that five foot wide section. Completely fill in the grout lines by pushing down on it with that rubber float. I usually use that rubber float to scoop up grout out of the um, grout bucket too. So I make sure I spend a lot of time making sure that the complete grout line is full of grout. If you don't fill it completely, it could cause um, crumbling grout later on. So you want to make sure that you're really pushing it into those grout lines, filling each grout line with grout. Once you've completed that whole section, then you get your clean wet sponge. Squeeze it out. You don't want dripping water. You just want it to be damp enough to wipe away the residue and kind of smooth along that grout. So I slowed the video down again because I want to make sure that you can see that I am scrubbing hard on the tile, but not on the grout line. So I don't want to accidentally scrub away any of the grout that I've put in. You want your grout line to be level with the tile or maybe just a hair beneath it is fine, but you don't want to accidentally scrub that away. So I'm being gentle near the grout line and scrubbing away any residue that might just be on the tile. So you want to scrub the residue off of the tile and sort of smooth the grout line just by lightly wiping across that grout line with the sponge. That's going to give your grout line a really nice smooth looking appearance. You'll get a feel for it as you're doing it and you can see for yourself. If you feel like your grout line doesn't look great, you can always add more grout to it and clean it off with a sponge again. There is, you can always go back and redo a section within a certain amount of time before it starts drying. Once I've gotten that tile as clean as I can with that wet sponge, I usually grab a dry towel and just lightly rub across that tile again. This gets off even more of that grout residue and it makes cleaning the next day or a few days later, whenever you can go back in and clean the tile, it makes cleaning that tile so much easier. So again, really be careful with that dry towel so that you aren't wiping away the grout or pressing into the grout. You just want to wipe the tile off and remove most of that grout residue so that you don't have a problem cleaning it off later. I also want to point out that I am using knee pads. I think they're essential whenever you're doing a tiling project or whenever you're doing your own grout on your tile. Knee pads are your best friends. They're going to save your knees, guys. And this mappy grout that I'm using does not require any sealer. So I am not going to have to come back in and seal this grout later, which is a huge time saver too and another reason why I love that grout. Just be sure that whatever grout you are using, you follow their recommendations for how long you let it dry before you walk on it. 
and then how long you let it dry before you can get it wet. Usually that's a few days. So just be really careful about following the guidelines for the grout you're using, and that's pretty much it, guys. Grouting is a pretty easy project. Most people can do, don't be intimidated. The instructions might sound complicated, but it's a really easy job for most people. As long as you have good attention to detail, you can get a really beautiful result doing your own grout work. And here's a look at my finished floor. I love how this turned out. I got this tile at Floor & Decor, guys. I'll put a link to the information on this tile in the description below along with a link to some other videos for DIY projects that I think most people should be able to do in their own home. Beginner level uh, DIY projects that I love and save me so much time and money when I do them myself. So check those out and thanks for watching this video guys. Have, an, have a great day.